Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Soul Calibur 6 Lord Player and today we're going to continue on Which is story campaign Or however you want to call it The Soul Chronicle So last time we did Ivy And this time I'm sure it was Cervantes So let's go down and get it on Sorry, I had a cough. <laughs> anyway, let's con let's begin from a single spark. Cervantes de Leon was a pirate captain who struck fear in the hearts of all who sailed the Atlantic. The moment he laid hands on Soul Edge, its overwhelming power transformed him into a terrible fiend. However, two great powers opposed him. The holy warrior Sofitia, blessed by the gods, and Taki, a demon-hunting ninja. Together they defeated Cervantes, destroying part of the sword in the process. Consumed in Hellfire, Cervantes' body was reduced to ash. Though it appeared his ambitions had thus come to an end, it was not to be. over there again looks kind of difficult to approach what's he doing just staring at that shipwreck hey I'd steer clear of him if I were you pirates used to hang out around there it's got quite a history so it's a pirate ship huh <gasps> This time I have been lost in thought. I no longer know who I am. I've forgotten something important. Yes, that's it. The Pirate King returns. Despite the immense power of his soul, Cervantes found it difficult to recover his full strength after his resurrection. Then one stormy night, a former crew member who bore a grudge against him attacked. <laughs> I never thought for a moment you'd actually be here, Captain. Er, I mean Captain Cervantes. Ah. Right. That's my name. Cervantes. What do you mean? The Adrian? The Black Tail Inn? Ring any bells? Cut the small talk. Sounds like you're asking for a fight. Well, here I am. You do know how to use that sword, don't ya? Yeah, of course I do. I have a feeling, instead of just killing him, you should t uh, interrogate him first. It would have been cool to see Cervantes actually be kind, then turn evil. Damn, he's tall. Ow. 
Oh, so that should do it. That's what I wanted to do. I remember when we were kids, or I was a kid, I always... Uh, me and my brothers played Soul Calibur before. I think it was Soul Calibur 3. I only play. I don't remember too much from the second game, though I love that one. Uh, my brother always uh, likes Cervantes. I played Mitsuru Mitsurugi. But I don't remember what the eldest one uh, used to be like. Sadly, who was it? Not Song Mina, it wasn't Nightmare. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm back! The roar of the storm, the tide of blood, it was here all along. <laughs> I owe you one. Why so afraid? Is it my rage? Was I always so quick to anger? Y yes Answer me. Who am I? You're our captain, the great pirate Captain Cervantes. And what was the creed of the great pirate Captain Cervantes? Steal and then murder. N -n -n no, please! Okay, now this next question is real important. Was I the type of guy to show benevolence towards someone begging for their life? Nice. He looked like a true psychopath. <laughs> Blinded by the cursed sword. Although Cervantes' lost memories had begun to return to him, he spent more time thinking about the feel of soulage in his hands than of his time as a pirate. His mind had become a thrall to soulage once more. Soulage. I feel it. Fragments of Soul Edge are buried in my flesh. The blade, when it shattered, its power is the only reason I'm not a pile of ash right now. Still, it's not enough. This power, this weapon, neither compare to when Soul Edge belonged to me. I'll make you mine again, no matter what it takes. The Fragments of the Sword Cervantes consensed that the Shard of Soul Edge was as potent as ever. However, if grasping the sword meant surrendering control of his mind all over again, it would all be for naught. There were two. One must still remain. I feel it. Soul Edge exists, and it's not far. But even if I get my hands on it, none of it will matter if I'm reduced to a mere puppet again. I shall become Soul Edge's master. To do that, I need much more power. Is that Chang'e style? 
Yeah, I think it is. Oh no! Wow, so cool. How did I do that? I don't know how I did that move. to do his combos. Not so fast. Wait, he can teleport. Yeah, better to destroy her now. <laughs> we both missed. Cool, I did that. I, I became a gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. The more souls I claim, the more my power returns. <sighs> but it's not enough. I need more than worthless fools. I feel... as though I'm forgetting something important. My memory has yet to fully return. There's something I'm missing. Harvesting toughened souls. The most effective way for Cervantes to restore his power was to claim the most tenacious of souls. And in Cervantes' experience, there was no tougher a soul than that of a pirate who had cut their teeth on the rough seas. With that in mind, he headed for the coastline of Northern Europe. Maxi? Maybe. Hey, I was wondering who dare pick a fight with us. You really come here alone? What? Want to get your hands on our plunder? Your plunder means nothing. I came for your souls. difficult to land it. That attack, I must say. Huh. Oh, my health doesn't regre regenerate. I never thought of that. Oh, there you 
Ah, I kicked. And then I'll say that. Damn it. I screwed up the big attack again. They were fine souls, but nothing more. I need some even finer. Something's coming back to me. <clears throat> Power returns. So do these blasted memories. Damn this. Miserable memories. Cervantes sought souls with the favor, a fervor of someone trying to rid themselves of painful memories. Remembering his confrontation with the holy warrior Sophitia, he decided to pay a visit to her Gre Grecian homeland. The gods who watch over that girl are worshipped at a temple around here. Is that what my senses are telling me? Speak! Who are you? Judging by your arms and armor, you're a guardian, aren't you? Be gone, wretch, before you defile this sanctuary! <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well help myself. as hell and cool. <laughs> now to take your soul. That was cool. No, he got it. No, he didn't.
Did he have sense nightmare getting destroyed? Spare vessel. Cervantes was on the verge of remember remembering something significant, but his memory was still failing him. With the hope that doing so will be the spark to ignite that flame, he decided to, he decided to visit the place from which Solage Aura had suddenly vanished. Allstrindsburg Castle. Empty. Soul Edge was here. Of that I'm certain. This remaining fragment. There is no doubt it belongs to Soul Edge. Even a single fragment contains so much power. I remember everything, the child of the cursed sword. My daughter was to be used as a spare vessel for Soul Edge. How much worth must such a fine soul have? If I could fuse the power of the shard with her soul, then perhaps Soul Edge would be reborn. Hmm. Someone approaches. Could it be? My child in the flesh? <laughs> what fortuitous timing! Family Reunion Under the Cursed Sword's rule, a so-called spare vessel, an heir to the sword, was created as a precaution. Cervantes' daughter, one cursed soil, they came to face to on cursed soil. Sorry, they came face to face for the fated reunion. I never thought you'd soil this place with your presence. <laughs> It's been too long, O oh daughter of mine. It has, but I'm not here to catch up. I'm here to send you back to hell! Okay, I'm really curious how this turns out. I finally got I shall give you a true death. I'll make you submit. I'll make you submit. Ow. Enjoy your treat. Give it up already. Huh? Sink in darkness! Sink in darkness! So I can do that backwards. Sink in darkness! That's really useful. I want to get it. Ow! She still got it. Wow. That far too close. Oh, sorry. Actually, I have to hit my microphone with my what's it called controller. Oh wow, that's cool. 
If I both of them, I have to kind of quick weapon. She has that sword whip. Cervantes has the uh, gun sword. Hey! She's zoning me. your words. Only then will I claim it and resurrect Soul Edge. When Soul Edge is mine again, the great pirate Captain Cervantes will be back with a vengeance. <laughs> All right. I never thought I would see Ivy look so defeated. Wow. That was cool. He actually let her go. Curious if that it might actually have been his human part. There's a small sliver of it left that wanted her to live. Though, I guess not. He's corrupted to, to the core. Anyway, that's that with Cervantes. I liked it. And we have 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So, I guess I'll see y'all later. Take care now and... Bye-bye. See ya then.